Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, for being quite honest, I'm a little late. Not late, I'm just like, the way that I chose to wake up was not smart because I have to um, be at work at 1.30 and it's currently like 12.36 or something and I leave at 1. How are you guys? Um, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because Mercury is in retrograde or something, but I don't know. I just feel overwhelmed with things, but I don't want this video to be like really negative and just like me whining the whole time. So if anything, I'm gonna talk about things that have been happening, but like talk about advice on how you can handle the things that are happening in your life if you can relate. After makeup, I want to do my hair and I'll show you how my hair looks. Not now because it's kind of frizzy because I need to wash it, but other than that, I'm going to show you what my hairstyle will be and I'll also show you my outfit because I think it's really nice. So let's start this out with people leaving your life unexpectedly. So there are two people who have left my life recently. They're not like sick. Or, or anything, they just kind of like left me um, without any warning, which is fine because I do it to people all the time. It's crazy. But um, so basically, I had a friend, I, I knew her since I was like maybe four, and out of nowhere, she just wasn't responding to my messages. And I saw her at senior orientation, and I was like, hey, how are you? And she was like, fine, but kind of like, not trying to have a conversation, so I was like, oh, okay. Um, and then we have the same like senior seminar, but um, she's just not interested in talking. And I don't know what's been happening with her home life and all, but um, yeah, we just haven't been talking. And I feel like with childhood friendships, they're expected to last a, a lifetime since they're from your childhood. But I think sometimes people can experience something in their life or they're overwhelmed or anxious. So they just are isolating themselves because I'm, when I'm sad or anxious, I tend to isolate myself and like listen to music in my room for hours or I'm either reading on hours. Um, so you, you can't really take that type of those type of situations personally because you don't know what someone like what their home life is or like what is happening in their head i've been sometimes i won't talk to people for a while but then randomly i'll snap out of that mood and then i talk to that person and i'll let them know what happened and it's fine but i I like to point out that if it happens like normally, like it's like a cycle, I feel like that's not a healthy person to surround yourself with because the whole time you'll be wondering what's happening. Like why why can't they talk about what they're what they're going through with me? And I feel like that's a whole lot of mental energy that you shouldn't like you can use your energy on on tons of things and you shouldn't use it on other people who aren't serving you, I think. So the second person, um, I met her online. Um, she's not fake, I'll point that out. Um, we would send videos of ourselves talking because our time zones weren't the same. So when she was up, I would be sleeping, and when she was sleeping, I would be up. Um, but she recently is starting her freshman year of university. So she's making new friends and all, and I just so happened to be one of the people that she left behind when starting out in university. I'll admit when I first, like, when that really soaked in, 
I wasn't sad, no. I was just like, oh, okay. But I feel like in those type of situations, sometimes people are only meant to be in your life for a, a chapter or two in your life. Sometimes you're happy that person left in the chapter they left, and sometimes you're sad that they left your story unexpectedly. But I feel like everyone, every person you meet that's in your life is in it for a lesson or just to simply add on to your life story. Sometimes they add on to your life in a positive way. Sometimes they add on to it in a negative way, but either way, they're adding on to your life so that you can learn. When you met that person, you were in a certain mindset or a headspace in when you needed that person. But when you're, when you're out of a, a certain mindset and they're out of a certain mindset, it's like they just don't make sense because you've already learned what you needed to learn or, you've, or you had the support that you needed during that time period. And sometimes they just need to take themselves out and that's fine because the fun part about people leaving your life is that new people can walk in and can fill in that empty slot in your life. Okay, so I'm in my senior year of, of high school, which I've said multiple times on this channel but I can't help but to feel overwhelmed with the future and whatnot, and like da da. And sometimes you're just doing the motions of life. And that's not fun because you're not truly experiencing life if you're on autopilot. It's like, I feel like I should be accomplishing things even though I'm, I'm not. So I have this whole sad party in my head like why is this happening when really i'm the i'm the villain in my own life and i think if people realize that what you put out finds its way back to you then people will feel so why is this happening to me because you're putting that energy out and that's what you're receiving. And then it's like, we have a certain picture of how we want our lives to end up and we know how to make it happen. But why do we not put in that effort for that? For me, I self-sabotage a lot. Oh my gosh, but self-sabotage is like the number one thing that stops me from doing a lot of things either because i'm worried like what the response will be like and if i do have one will it be positive will people even watch it but then again at the end of the door you only live once and that is like in five years i mean is it really gonna matter who knows so, if you have a vision or something you feel like making, like a movie, a video, even writing a novel, you, you should just, you should follow what makes you happy, and then everything will fall into place. I wonder if I, when I re-watch this, I'm like, what is she even talking about? <laughs> but, um... I'm about to do my hair, so I'll show you the high ponytail I had in mind. Okay, bye! Okay, so this is what my hair looks like now. It's a high ponytail. Um, I mean, if you like it, I can show you how I put my hair like this. Um, and then I got this necklace from Icing. Um, my, my mom purchased it for me because I asked nicely. And then I'll show you the full outfit that I'm wearing because I feel like it's really cute. And then I got these earrings from H&M. I know they're like kind of normal looking, but I feel like they work really well with me. Oh yeah, happy Halloween. It's actually Halloween. Um, 
I mean, I don't have any plans for Halloween really. Well, I'm hanging out with my mom for Halloween. Um, so we'll be doing fun stuff, you know the drill. Um, I want to put on eyeliner, but um, it's kind of stressful for me. <laughs> then I'm going to put on this bracelet that I got because I'm a rich man. <laughs> if I can put this on, ugh, I got it. Mm -hmm. It's so pretty. Yep, rich man vibes. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna show you the outfit that I'm wearing with this whole thing. Can you see this? I feel like this looks so cute on me. Isn't this cute? These pants are from American Eagle. This is from Rue 21. I don't know what this is from. My mom purchased it for me. Other than that, it's gonna be a fun afternoon, evening. Afternoon, evening, one of those. And I work for four hours since I'm a minor. Um, so, yeah, I'll check back with you. And I'm also having a soda. The way that I love this soda should be illegal. Mm-hmm. Let's, let's get the name in there. Yep. Yeah, it's called Poppy. It's, it's really good. And sponsor me because it's really good. But this is really good. So I recommend it.